What I wanted to talk about today is differential. Differential is in all switching devices. So what is differential? It's actually the difference between on and off. If, let's say, a thermostat like this one turns on the heat. Well, if it turns it on at, say, 70 degrees, it's not going to turn it off at 70 degrees. Otherwise, it'd be going click, 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 click all the time. So there has to be a differential. It has to be a dead zone. And so when a thermostat turns on at 70 degrees, it's probably not going to shut off until 71 and a half, 72, something like that. Uh, that's where you get varying temperatures inside structures. Now, there's ways we have of adapting so that we get a, a steady temperature, but that's not the point of this one today. This is just about the differential you'll see in pressure switches, uh, temperature switches, any other type of switch. Here's one here. This is actually a uh, air pressure switch. It's off an old, old York heat pump. And that one uses differences inch in tenths or hundredths of an inch of water column. Very low pressure changes. So when I look at these things, here's one here. This is a fan switch off an old gas furnace. And this thing, the fan's going to turn on. And let's say you set the fan, you have an on it has a fan off temperature, which means the fan on temperature, get that right side up so you can see it. The fan on temperature has a set differential to the off temperature. So if I set that to 110 degrees on or off, when the fan actually goes off, the on temperature that this will uh, go on is probably about 130 something like that so it's a wide differential in this thing okay this one here this is a uh, airflow temperature control it's a limit switch uh, it's been taken apart here but this one actually tells you what the differential is if you look at the bottom left of that it says L190-40F. That simply means that 190 degrees Fahrenheit, it will open. And 40 degrees lower than that, or 150 degrees Fahrenheit, it will close again. That's a wide differential. And that's normal for this type of switch. This is a safety limit control. Uh, it wants to actually run the fan for a long period of time to cool off the heat exchanger because the heat exchanger is overheated. Uh, this old boy here, this is a uh, an old heat pump thermostat and if you notice as I turn this thing the top one over there uh, moved. But I have to turn it a ways back to get it to go back. And that's kind of telling me what the differential is. There's, so there's a differential in these things too. This is a pressure switch. And it also tells you right on it, it says cut out is cut in minus differential. And if you look at this, you can adjust this differential. This is the differential here. It's at about 22 pounds. So cut in right here at let's say 65 pounds. And if I go down 23 degrees before below that 65 or actually it's 70 on that one. Uh, then it will shut off. So it's an adjustable differential switch. 
Now this is for checking pressure. Okay, here's your standard old uh, wall thermostat for uh, baseboard electric heat. And if you listen close, You can hear that switch switch, and I have to move it a ways to get it to switch. That movement I've made is essentially the differential in this switch. That's the old standard Honeywell fan and limit switch. As this thing rotates, it turns on, and then it rotates back and it turns off. This, you have the differential on this one, if we look close on it, the differential on this one is between about a hundred and forty and about 110 the difference between these two uh, parts here these are adjustable they can go back and forth so we can adjust the differential fan comes on it's say 140 and then when the heat goes off it clears the heat exchanger until it reaches the setting for the off temperature so that's differential in all these different switches. Now, differentials, I've shown you some that are pretty wide, and there's some that can be very small. If I'm looking at this thermostat here, this thermostat builds a differential into it, but it's controlled by a thermistor. A thermistor is just something that changes its resistance with temperature. And the electronics can sense the difference in temperature by the difference in resistance of the thermistor. So ideally, this thing could have a very tiny, tiny differential. The differential could be a thousandth of a degree Fahrenheit. It could be, you know, far, far larger. But we can control it. With electronics, we can uh, keep these differentials very low maybe for specialized applications. Obviously, in most applications, differential keeps the unit from short cycling. So the wider the differential, the less short cycling, more or less. Anyway, that's it on uh, differential in the switch.